Hello and welcome back for your daily dose of LOL Esports content. We're going to preview the two series that are going to take place tomorrow in the LCK to debut the Korean schedule. Predictions, I'm 6-9 and nine after the first week of LEC. It was a rough one. I haven't had this bad of a run ever, really. Um, so, at least to start, so this, this is, it's ugly. So, uh, we got two series here. They're very different in terms of uh, hype for sure, and team quality. So, first, Nongshim Red Force Team DRX. Funnily enough, we have the two world champions from the last two uh, years here, uh, between DRX and T1. In summer, the last time these two teams played, Nongshim would win 2-1. to one. Nongshim bring back their starting five. Fiesta maybe gets replaced by um, Kalmi. Um, maybe. I think both are listed on the roster. Um, as far as DRX are concerned, they have a new jungler and AD... Uh, actually, the only player returning is top laner Rascal, which is why we're highlighting the top lane matchup um, from, from that last series. DRX have Sponge, Saytab, uh, Teddy, and then Playeta. Uh, everybody but Teddy that I just said are from DRX's challenger team that did very well last year. Nongshim's roster is the five players from the 2022 Challengers roster that they had that they used completely in summer. In spring, they had Vital instead of Jiwoo, and Jiwoo actually looked good as the season went along. Um, so Din Din in top lane went 7, 8, 11, 19% of damage in the loss. Ras I'm sorry, in the win, Rascal 7, 6, 13, 23% of damage in the win. Um, DPM Diffie was... was sizable i think it was about just under 200 dpm across an entire series over 95 minutes that's 18,000 19,000 um uh yeah 19,000 damage across three games eh, maybe it's not as much as we think i'm trying to make it out to be i guess um rascal did get to play rumble for a game but he also played like poppy uh and, and things like that so a lot of young players in this uh, series to start us off tomorrow. Then we have T1 Gen G, both in the top three of my power rankings. Um, T1 first, of course, because they won Worlds. Gen G third. Last time they played was at Worlds. Gen G would win that best of one in Swiss stage. Um, and the only two players that return from that Gen G roster are Chovy and Pays, the two carries. Uh, Doran has been replaced by Keen. Peanut replaced by Canyon. And then Delight by Lahens. I will say, um, you could argue that the only one of those three that I think are really, truly, a, is it could be a uh, upgrade is Jungle. Canyon, of course, is excellent. Um, Keen leaves a little bit to be desired, and Doran has shown to be able to be multi-use um, in top lane last year with Genji. Of course, we'll see with HLE how that goes. And, um, you know, Delight really showed up last year where... Uh, you know, Lahens with the team. I mean, alongside Ruler, he was very, very good. Um, then he goes with aiming and does fine as well. But at the same time, he is um, with two pretty damn good AD carries and one, you could argue, the best ever. Uh, where Pays is a young player, right? So it's a different look. Chovy and Pays went 8 1 9, 52% of damage combined in that win. Faker and Gumiushi, 4 7 3, 62% of damage in the loss. Faker outdamaged everybody by a sizable margin with literally 50% of his team's damage. I want to almost say that I must have 62% wrong because he had 50% of the team's damage. You might want to just check that yourself. Um, but nevertheless, I know that part is true. It, it was very one-sided in the mid lane and when it came to who was carrying this game, but at the same time, Genji were able to get a win. Now, of course, T1, do they really give a shit? They end up winning Worlds afterwards? Of course not. Um, that game was just one of many at the tournament, um, and in the early stages and Swiss stage, they, they struggled uh, by T1 standards. So, of course, this one is a star-studded uh, series. So... That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.